Have you ever noticed that some of your appliances seem to be secretly sipping electricity, even when they're switched off? It's a curious phenomenon, isn't it? It's like they have a hidden appetite for power. These sneaky devices are quietly consuming energy and most of us don't even realize it. We call this standby power and it's a real energy vampire lurking in your home. These tiny lights and indicators might seem harmless but they are constantly drawing power. You see, many modern devices never truly turn off. They stay in a kind of sleep mode, always ready to spring back to life at a moment's notice. This convenience comes at a cost. These vampire loads, as they're sometimes called, might seem small, but they can add up to a significant energy drain over time. Imagine all those little sips of power adding up day after day. We're talking about wasted electricity and, you guessed it, a bigger bill for you. Those extra costs can really add up, especially over the course of a year. Let's talk about some of the most common energy vampires lurking in your home. These are devices that continue to draw power even when they're not in active use, silently adding to your electricity bill. First up, we have the television. It's a staple in most living rooms, providing endless hours of entertainment. You've probably noticed that little red light that stays on even when the TV is off. This is known as standby power. It allows the TV to turn on instantly when you press the remote, but it also means the TV is constantly drawing a small amount of electricity, it's the TV's way of staying ready to turn on instantly when you press the remote. While convenient, this feature contributes to your overall energy consumption. Next, we have the microwave. It's a kitchen essential used for everything from reheating leftovers to cooking quick meals. Did you know that even when it's not heating up your leftovers, it's still drawing a small amount of power? That digital clock and those illuminated buttons require a constant trickle of electricity. Yep. That clock and those buttons need a constant trickle of electricity to stay illuminated. Over time, this small drain can add up, contributing to your overall energy usage. And let's not forget about phone chargers. These little devices are often left plugged in even when they're not in use. Leaving your charger plugged in when your phone isn't connected is like leaving a faucet dripping. It may not seem like much, but it's a small but steady drain on your electricity. Over time, this can add up, especially if you have multiple chargers plugged in around the house. Remember, even when your phone isn't guzzling power, that charger is still drawing energy from the outlet. Unplugging chargers when they are not in use is a simple way to reduce unnecessary energy consumption. These are just a few examples of the many everyday devices that contribute to standby power consumption. From gaming consoles to coffee makers, many of our modern conveniences come with a hidden energy cost. In the next section, we'll explore just how much of an impact these energy vampires can have on your wallet. Stay tuned to learn more about how you can identify and combat these hidden energy drains in your home. Now that we've met some of the usual suspects, let's talk about the real cost of standby power. Studies have shown that standby power can account for as much as 10% of a household's total electricity use. Imagine leaving a light bulb on in every room of your house all day, every day. That's essentially what you're doing when you leave devices plugged in and on standby. The exact amount of money you'll save by reducing standby power depends on a variety of factors, including the types of devices you have, your electricity rates, and your personal habits. But even small changes can make a difference. And who doesn't like saving money? In the next section, we'll take a look around a typical home and identify some of the biggest energy hogs. Get ready to be surprised. Let's take a walk through a typical home and see how many energy vampires we can find. We'll start in the living room where we often find the biggest culprits. The television, DVD player, gaming consoles. They're all guilty of sucking down power even when they're not in use. Moving on to the kitchen, we've got the microwave, the coffee maker, the toaster oven, all potential energy vampires. Even that innocent-looking digital clock on the stove could be costing you money. The bedroom isn't safe either. Alarm clocks, phone chargers, and even some lamps are often left plugged in and drawing power 24-7. And don't forget about the bathroom. Hair dryers, electric toothbrushes, and curling irons can all contribute to standby power consumption if they're not unplugged after use. The point is, energy vampires can be found in every room of your house. But don't worry, there are plenty of ways to fight back. In the next section we'll discuss some practical tips for slaying those energy vampires and reclaiming your power. The good news is that reducing standby power is easier than you might think. With a few mindful habits and some simple tools, you can make a significant impact on your energy consumption. First, unplug devices when not in use. 
This might seem obvious, but it's often overlooked. Many devices like phone chargers and laptops continue to draw power even when they are not actively being used. Plugging multiple devices into a power strip or extension cable allows you to turn them all off with the flick of a switch. This is especially helpful for entertainment systems and computer setups where multiple devices are often used together. By using a power strip, you can ensure that all connected devices are completely powered down, preventing any phantom load from occurring. This is especially helpful for entertainment systems and computer setups. Invest in smart plugs. These handy devices allow you to control your electronics remotely and set schedules for when they turn on and off. Smart plugs can be a game changer in managing your energy consumption. You can even monitor your energy usage and identify energy hogs. This way, you can make informed decisions about which devices to unplug or replace. When it's time to replace your old appliances, look for models with low standby power consumption. Energy Star certified products are a good bet. These products are designed to be more energy efficient, both in active use and in standby mode. Now let's talk about the bigger picture. Reducing standby power isn't just about saving money, it's also about protecting our planet. When we waste electricity, we contribute to greenhouse gas emissions, which contribute to climate change. By reducing our energy consumption, we can help to reduce our impact on the environment. It's like recycling, but for electricity. Every watt of power we save is a step towards a cleaner, healthier planet. Think of it this way. Unplugging your phone charger might seem like a small act, but if everyone made a conscious effort to reduce their standby power consumption, the collective impact would be enormous. We can make a difference, one unplugged device at a time. You've learned about the hidden world of standby power, the energy-sucking vampires that lurk in our homes, and the simple steps we can take to defeat them. Now it's time to put your knowledge into action. Challenge yourself to identify and eliminate energy vampires in your own home. Share what you've learned with your friends and family, and encourage them to join the energy-saving revolution. Remember, every little bit counts. By working together, we can make a big difference for our wallets and our planet. So go forth, be energy smart, and help create a brighter future for us all.